Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching and in today's video we are going to be playing around with some rhinestones today which is really fun. I figured why not do something a little bit different. I am not going out on this Friday night so I figured I would just do my makeup. <laughs> Super fun and just a little bit different just to, you know, experiment. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and give this video a thumbs up as well. If you wanna learn how to get this rhinestone look, then please keep watching. Pull the key out the ignition Run your mouth but I never listen You hold me back, we'll never last Keep talking all your shit Alright you guys, I have my tape on and I'm ready to get started So, I want to dip into this peachy shade And this is going to be our transition shade for everything to come So, whatever color you want to start with If it's a peach shade, whatever shade Just make sure it is blended into that crease This is going to help build the rest of those colors to come Now to give it more of a orangey type of vibe, I dipped into this terracotta color and I am just putting that right on top of that peach shade and blending that into the crease. I am now dipping into this Grateful shade from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2 palette and now I'm really trying to create a wing with this color. I am dragging it out and buffing it back into that crease and just trying to create more of a defined angled look. I am now taking a clean brush and I'm just making sure everything is buffed in together. I picked up some brown shades and now I am going into that angled area we've been working on and I'm really going in and drawing onto that wing. Now it is time to cut the crease. So I like to take my brush, dip it into the concealer, and I lightly work on the eye by tapping it into the crease. This should be done very slowly to give you the look you're trying to achieve. And here I'm just following the darkness of that line we've been working on, and I'm using that as my guide. Once you get closer to that wing you've been working on, you can kind of just use that tape as your guide to show you how far you need to go up and just fill in the rest. Next, I picked up this jasmine shade and I put that all over the eyelid. Just to make sure that color didn't ruin what we had already worked on, I'm just going into those brown shades we picked up earlier and I am just making sure that line is more defined. So 
so because of the fallout i just picked up that jasmine shade again and i just put that back over the eyelid here i am creating a wing with the black shadow with my angled brush and i'm slowly working that into the lash line i am using the tape as my guide so this is perfect for beginners just to use that tape and you can just work on that wing and make sure it goes in the right direction Next, I just took these gems that I have and I took about five on each eye and then I grabbed my eyelash glue and I just started placing them on the tops of my eyelids. So that is what I did. These are from the craft store and you can get them pretty much anywhere. So this is what the eye looks like with the gems on. It's really pretty and I love it so much. I also wanted to mention two of the shades that I did not get to show on camera that I just added very last minute. I went in with the shade Next and Crazy and just lightly buffed that underneath my eyes just to give it more of an open look. And just to make it look like the makeup was separated and not really connected, I added this white eyeliner so you could really see the eyeshadows in between my eyes and how much of a split there was so i just wanted to mention that as well and that is it for this look i hope you guys enjoyed so much and if you recreate this look please let me know i would love to hear about it and if you haven't already go ahead hit that subscribe button leave a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up i love you guys so much and i will see you in my next video